very common condition, adolescent females, oh, they get a little belly pain, and the doctor has a sonogram, and he sees a little cyst, and it bursts, and he says, oh, it's something called a gluteal cyst. And he says, oh, we may have to go to an endocrinologist or a gynecologist. Why? Oftentimes, a luteal cyst, or a cyst that occurs in the ovary around the time that an egg is being released, can cause a little bit of pain and discomfort when that uh, egg is actually released, or if the uh, ovary is producing more than one egg at a time, there's a cyst or sort of a bubble that forms around it. That bubble can cause some sense of discomfort as it stretches the ovarian tissue, and when it finally does rupture, it can release a little bit of an uh, inflammatory substance that causes a bit of discomfort, oftentimes referred to as the middle schmerz or the middle pain that occurs in the belly. Fairly common phenomenon in adolescent females, and typically some Motrin or Advil is sufficient enough to control the symptoms. If it keeps happening and gets out of control, do they ever use birth control pills to control it? Severe middle schmerz or severe pain that occurs with ovulation can be suppressed with the use of an oral contraceptive that should be prescribed after consultation with either an endocrinologist or an adolescent OBGYN physician. And that does control it uh, pretty good? In most patients, the use of an oral contraceptive in such a setting will essentially eliminate that discomfort. And if you start uh, oral contraceptives in a female, does that stop them from growing? Oral contraceptives in a female who's experienced this kind of pain most likely is going to be someone who's essentially done with their growth. However, the use of an oral contraceptive in a child who's not yet done with their growth can result in premature termination of their growth. Therefore, it's very important for families to know that when they approach this issue with their physicians. So in other words, it's not something you just do, just don't go to a pediatrician to write a prescription. It should be a consultation with either the gynecologist, the endocrinologist, the pediatrician, and the family. And the child should have a, some say in this matter, too, because she's probably thinks she's an adult, and we have to treat a little bit like that. Is that true? Absolutely. I'm all in favor of children taking an active role in their health care and interacting with their physicians and health care team to the best of their level of maturity and understanding. You also mentioned taking Advil or Motrin for middle schmerz type pain. You can't really work well if it's already there. You sort of like have to predict it beforehand because it's something that builds up called prostaglandins. Yeah, the, as I mentioned, there's an inflammatory substance called prostaglandin, which is released when that cyst ruptures. And so oftentimes the treatment coming after the rupture isn't as effective as sort of anticipating it. And if it's something that happens pretty routinely, a child can keep a menstrual calendar, and that will tell them when to expect this pain to occur again, and they, be, they can begin to premedicate with uh, medication Motrin.